I've been asked to explain what I mean when I say this is the beginning of the end of a disproportionate amount of black people that do not swim. So here goes. People like myself, i.e. people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and even in some cases 60s that never learned to swim at an early age, but decided to learn how to swim at a later age are few and far between. Hence the reason why 95% of black adults in England do not swim. If we are going to see a change in the narrative, it's going to have to be in the 80% of black children in England that do not swim. The great thing is that swimming is part of the curriculum. And when I say great, I'm not talking about the system or the process because we all know that this, that's broken at some point. It's, yeah, it's not that great. But the good thing is that there is an introduction into swimming. There is an introduction into the water. So therefore, um, where we need to change it is the end result. So basically, the child, the parent has to see a future. So they have to say that, okay, I'll get my child into the water, but there should be something at the end of it. Um, and when, when what I'm talking about is a career, a career at the end of it. Hence the reason why we have to start highlighting the aquatic pathway. Up until now, what we've been highlighting is the water safety element of it, and that hasn't worked. Because if it did, 95% of us blacks in England would be swimming. Um, so, so basically, there has to be something else. And, and if a parent says, that you're like, oh, oh I can, my child can get a, a job at the end of this. They can, you know, can be a swimming coach. They can be a, um, a lifeguard or an, even an elite swimmer. That would change the perception. So therefore, we have to start getting them to understand that there is a career. There can be a career at the end of it. This issue has been there for a generation, so there has to be a starting point, and I believe this is it. The great thing is that it will start creating role models. And when I'm talking about role models, I'm not talking necessarily about elite um, swimmers and such, but basically people at a grassroots level. So people will start going to swimming pools and start seeing a lot of black people. Um, uh, as lifeguards, as coaches, and then and that will highlight that they can, you know, they can follow that career path as well. So, like I said, the most important thing is highlighting the career pathway within aquatics. So this is what I mean by this is the beginning of the end of a disproportionate amount of blacks and ethnic minorities that do not swim.